If you use WordPress to create the show notes for your podcast, then I have a question for you. Do you think that you should do this as an individual page on your website or should you do them as individual posts? That's what we are gonna cover today, so let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I wanna talk to you WordPress users who are doing your show notes. This probably applies to other websites out there that create pages and posts for their podcast episodes, but I'm specifically talking to you WordPress users because I've been in your shoes. (laughs) I use WordPress for my podcast website, and recently I had someone ask me, are you supposed to be doing pages for each podcast episode or do you do individual posts? And I thought, wow, that's such a great question because on the outside, and if you're just getting started with WordPress, a page looks like probably the one that you want to use, right? It's going to have higher SEO rankings and it's going to have more weight on your podcast website. But what you want to do is you want to create posts for each individual episode. And there are a few reasons why. So the first one is whenever you create a page, that actually takes up a little bit more bandwidth on your site. So if you go to my website, it's crystalprofit.com, and you can go to crystalprofit.com slash podcast to see the specifics for the Profit Podcast. But what I want you to see is that while you're here on this page is if you're scrolling down, this is one entire page. There's a lot of images. There's a lot of cool different things that I can do with this. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom where I can, you can scroll through the most recent podcast episodes, you can only do that because my podcasts are added as a post and not a page. So that's one of the main reasons is a page takes up a lot of bandwidth. And number two is you won't have the ability to have a scrolling feature of all of your posts if they are each individual pages. So another reason that I want you to create posts whenever you're doing your show notes on your WordPress podcast website is because Every single time you create one, there is an amazing plugin that you can use that allows you to clone individual posts. I hope that your ears, like your head just exploded and you're just, I was thinking your ears are ringing, but that's not the right saying. Always have the sayings wrong. I hope that your mind just exploded, right? I hope that you're so excited because you've just realized, oh my gosh, I do not have to create my show notes from scratch every single week. You can simply go into WordPress, go into all of your posts, and if you have this plugin already connected, it allows you to have the feature of cloning your post. This is what I do every single week. I go in, I clone my post, and what it will do is it will create a duplicate of the existing one that you have. Now, it doesn't automatically publish it. It actually just creates a copy of it and it's gonna have a totally different name, that way you don't get confused. Um, As far as the slug goes, the slug is what comes after the slash. So crystalprofit.com slash podcast, crystalprofit.com slash episode 169. Like there's a difference, one of them is a page and one of them is a post. So the reason why I tell you this is because it's very important that once you create one of these duplicate posts or you clone it, then you wanna make sure you immediately go and change the slug so you don't forget that this is a totally different podcast episode. But the reason why I like to do this is from there, I have a template to work with. I'm not recreating the wheel every single week. So I have a template that has all the headings that I like to use, The fonts are already pre-formatted out there for me, and I actually have 
my free podcast bootcamp is shown in the middle of each individual post. This is a free resource that I want anybody who's interested in podcasting, if they stumble upon my website, I want them to know that this is a great resource for them to have. So I automatically have that as an option in every single show note for every episode of The Profit Podcast. So I want you to tell me in the comments below, where do you have your podcast website hosted? Let me know, are you on WordPress? Are you on Squarespace? Do you use Kajabi? Like, tell me which podcast website you use, that way I can create more resources in the future, cater to more users who are using certain websites. Okay, let's get back to the video. And the last reason why I think it's very important for you to have individual posts for every single podcast episode instead of a page is because of the way SEO is done for post. So I use Yoast, it's an SEO plugin, and this is what I have at the bottom of all of my WordPress post. Post, Yoast, on the coast, no, no rhyming. Okay, I won't do that again, I promise. <laughs> but what you wanna do is go down to the bottom, you will see the Yoast plugin, and this is where you can control all of the SEO for individual posts. If this were a page, it would look totally different. So I wanna make sure that you're doing the SEO on your podcast website correctly for each individual episode and all of your show notes. But that does it for this video. So I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, could you give us a thumbs up and subscribe below? That way you don't miss other future podcasting videos that we put out every single week. Check out these other podcasting videos right here that have tips and strategies on starting, launching, marketing, and all things podcasting. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.